guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little while, but I have a beautiful box here that I received from Crafty Me Shop, and this will be my design team package, and it came in this gorgeous big box. Um, so anyway, I've been working a little bit on things here and there, kind of tinkering when I have mojo. Let's not worry about that. Let's just focus on this beautiful box of goodies, and... I love how um, pretty this box is. It is so gorgeous. It's, it's like a little, I mean, a big giant book, but it's a box and I peeked. I couldn't help it. <laughs> I didn't move anything around though because I really wanted to enjoy it with you guys. Um, but look at this. She always wraps her boxes in gorgeous ribbons and lots of it. So I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this for a little while hope you guys can see this box is huge i want to say this is like this box is uh, over 13 inches by 10 and a half and then it has a little curved spine it's really pretty so let's open it up and when you open it up, you have this pretty inside. And oh my goodness. Let's move this. I should stand up so you guys can make sure you guys are seeing what I'm seeing over here. Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, let's see. How am I going to do this? I guess I'll just move. Well, I'll move this over here. And I will just have to make room. Okay. So here we have little pieces of appliques and bits that she kind of sprinkles over the top and throughout. And I love little things that I can add to my projects like this that is already ready. So cute. Here's an applique with some sequins and here's a beautiful rolled rose and this gorgeous neutral applique. It's like um, kind of a tan mocha and then it has some rose gold sequins. It's really pretty. I love the rhinestones in the middle here. Put those over here. And oh, here's a cute little applique. And it looked like she coffee or tea dyed it. It's a beautiful color. These are fun to cut apart and sprinkle through your project. It gives a lot of nice contrast. And then, oh, this pretty one could be like that or this. These are fun to put like in the center spread of your journal. And then you can have such a pretty little thing to look at. Gorgeous. And let's see, this little applique here it's pretty and this pink one I love the beads in this because it has like um, they're dimensional like stamen isn't that pretty very pale pink very pretty and then this one oh, that's pretty I see like how many bits I can cut apart <laughs> when I'm looking at it. I guess it goes this way because that would be the stain in there. And the leaves. Let's see. I'm hoping that this box is going to really get my mojo going. <laughs> Look how pretty. I love this um, dangle applique. It's so gorgeous, and these are just so fun to sprinkle on your projects. I love these little things here. <gasps> Look at this. OMG. Oh my goodness. 
Wow. This is stunning right here. I love when it's on mesh and you can cut these apart as much as you want. Love it. This is so gorgeous. I mean, wow. I love working with those types of trims. Anything with sequins and beads on it, I am your girl. <laughs> oh, I haven't had this one. Does it go that way or that way? I don't know. Look at all those pearls, those pink pearls around that petals. And then the inside, how fun is that? That is so pretty. I do not have this one. Love that one. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And this one, ooh. Look at how cute that is. I love the little rolled rose. It looks like a heart. And this pretty little flower sequence. That is so pretty. Yummy. Oh my goodness. I love that one. And I have never had that one. So this is fun to have new trims that you haven't had. Okay. Let's see what this one. Oh yes. This looks familiar, but it's not exactly the one I have. That is so pretty. Gorgeous. See this little flower right here? I love to put them on my paper clips. I've been making some paper clips again. And it's just the um, round coaster. I'm going to put a little bit of felt on there. And then the paper clip. And then I just embellish all kinds of stuff but I usually put some kind of a backing like a fabric and then I'll decorate with these gorgeous trims and appliques so cute okay Ooh. I you know I've seen this one and I haven't gotten it yet so I'm glad I got it little bows or butterflies either way they're really cute. You cut that top part off and then you got a little, little tiny little guy. That's cute. This pretty applique. That's gorgeous. Look at that cording on there. And the beads. They're so pretty. Yum. Oh, this is just what I needed. Pretty stuff to look at. <laughs> oh, look at this gorgeous pale pink. <gasps> Love it. That is really pretty. That is like such a gorgeous pink. Oh my goodness. It's like ballet pink. And this one. This looks like it was tea dyed as well, or coffee dyed, one of the two, but it's super soft, it's shiny. Doesn't that look pretty? Mm, I love this palette, it's so pretty. Oh yeah, look at this gorgeousness. Oh my goodness. You just need one and that would be your focal point. It's so pretty. Or you could do it like this. But oh look at that flower. So pretty. I love this. This was dyed too and I love tea dye. Oh look at this. How cute. Oh, that's a cute little trim. Isn't that sweet? It has a little 
oh my goodness, they're the tiniest little, I can't tell. Oh, they're, okay. I don't know. I can't barely see because I need new glasses. <laughs> I need a new um, prescription in my sun, I mean in my glasses because I'm struggling to see details up close. You know, it's time to, you need a new prescription. Oh, well. Glasses are so expensive these days, but I just need lenses, really, because my glasses are fine. And this is dainty. Pretty, pretty. Love it. I love um, mesh trim because it's just so soft and delicate and easy to gather. So, it's pretty. And this pretty little pearl dangle. So gorgeous. Love these. Oh, yummers. I don't have any of her buttons, and these are super pretty. The gold's a little bright, so you could um, you could add like some of your gold paint pen if you wanted like maybe a more vintagey gold. I have one. Oops. Might try it. It's this um, Deco Premium color. And I just got this new one because my other one was uh, running out. But it's an oil based opaque metallic paint marker. So it would definitely stay on the metal. But I'd like to try it out. So. I'll let you guys know. Super, super pretty. Let's see, what do we have? Ooh, this one's pretty. I love dangle trim, so this is really pretty. Yes, ma'am. I love it. How fun is that? I hope you don't mind me going a little slower today. I'm just kind of like, I need to relax because I just feel like I've been going, going, going. So today is a relaxing day and it's Sunday afternoon and I'm so grateful that I have time in my craft room today and that I'm in the mood to be up here. Uh, lately I have not been but some days I will tinker. <laughs> so maybe spend an hour on something, but yeah, I've been working on some journals. I'll show you that. Where's that journal I was working on? Well, you know the little one that I was working on, right? This one. And then, well, did you see it? Yeah. And then I've been working on this. Oh, come here. This one. Well, lots of goodies in here. I made a little, little dangle here with some beads and just goodies. And these are just going to be some blank journals. And I've already found it. And these are some pretty as May laces. And some of her gorgeous appliques here flowers and stuff so yeah I have I've been playing a little bit and I saw paper terrace do the pretty um, charm dangles and so I added a couple to this little dangle here and it's been super fun so I've got two of these coming up soon and very soon okay let's continue on uh, this one is so cute. I love this flower. Now, I don't know that I would use the background trim, to be honest with you, but I do love this little flower. It's got pretty ribbons in green, cream, and this rosy pink. So, that's fun. This, oh, this is very pretty. I don't have this one either. It's 
very sheer and dainty. It almost reminds me of if this was paper, you know, those, um, <laughs> you would make the rosettes out of, <laughs> you know how you would score it at every quarter inch. It's funny. Okay. Let's see right here. Okay. Oh, this one is pretty. I don't have this. That's really cool. These make great belly bands, you know, when they're both double-sided like that. You can make really pretty belly bands and then layer these up in the middle with something really pretty. Ooh, love it. That would be fun. Oh, look at this. That's so pretty and dainty. It's like almost all tulle, except for this little embroidery scallop piece, and then this top part. It almost looks like it's hand stitched. You know, like, I forget what they call that stitching on the edge, but I tried it. Oh my gosh. I did try it, and I was putting together like a stuffed heart at one of the um, little crafty classes at church they do like a monthly thing and um well it's the friday moms group um they uh ladies come from everywhere not just my home church but um yeah and it was so hard <laughs> i mean i eventually got the hang of it but it was a little tough this is a cute little dainty trim you could dye this any color you wanted to these are great for tassels, too. Okay, let's see what else we got. This little stretchy ruffle. Isn't that cute? Cutie, cute, cute. I'm running out of places. Oh, yeah. I just got this trim, actually. And it is so pretty. These beads have like an Aurora Borealis finish to it, and it's really gorgeous. Little trim. Super dainty and delicate. And I will not hoard my other piece anymore because now I have extra. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I have this one, I think. This one's super pretty, so you could do it either way. And they almost have, like, an applique that you could cut apart. But, yeah. It's a really pretty trim. And it's got that mesh again and the pretty finish. I love it. Hmm, I don't have this one. Almost looks like fall leaves. Those are so cute. That is so cute. That would be cute down the spine of a journal, right? Because you got two sides there. Or you could do the belly band. Or you could make two trims. Or you could, like, cut these leaves. Mm, lots of goodies you could do with this. Super cute. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Oh, drop that trim. Okay, I've never seen this one. That is trippy. Look at that. Looks like, um, like a black hole almost. It's going in there. <laughs> That's wild. I bet that look cool tea dyed. It's like a cream color. Okay. Oh yeah, now I've had this one before, but I do love this trim. It's super cute and delicate, and I love the little flowers. So you could cut them if you really wanted to. You could cut this out, but it is a cute little trim, like on the edge of 
a page or the edge of a ruffle or you could do you know, trim a photo oh, yeah i got another button so i just need to do that okay this is really pretty and i can't tell which side is what but i think it's this one anyway that's super pretty i do like that it's like a scallop on both sides but it's different beautiful Esme has really pretty laces so if you have not searched um, shopped with Esme she is on Facebook and she sells in her Facebook group she does not have an Etsy shop she sells on Fridays usually or over the weekend depending so she does a mixture of laces and fabrics and vintage and new and uh and even some special finds that she finds, like um, some jewelry or dyes or whatever. So you have to come check her out. She's got lots of yummies. Um, her laces definitely do not disappoint. They are really, really gorgeous. Oh, look at that butterfly. I haven't seen that one. It's got a little dimension there. A little bit of layers. Cute. And, oh, this pink is pretty. Oh, it's, maybe it's like a peachy pink, but it's like, almost like a blush. Goes really good with that, like, ballet pink. It's so soft. Love that. Oh, what's that? Oh. Gosh, that's gorgeous. That button, heart button, and it has a shank in the back. I love that. Yay, I love this color. It's so pretty. Oh, look at that. It's like a purpley blue. And let's see. There's a little baby blue trim right here. That's cute. So delicate. You know, I have tried to tea dye some of these um, colors too, and I've had some success, like with some colors that I really didn't like, and um, I was surprised. Let's see. This is interesting. You can put um, ribbon through there. Pretty. I would probably tea dye that one because it's almost like it's so white you know it's like blue white almost that's how white it is okay and then almost done guys love this trim I have had this before but I really love it because I love to cut out the pieces and use them separately I made these I used this on my what was it my jumbo um uh, paperclip tags or whatever they were <laughs> so pretty oh my gosh oh I love this this is really sparkly and it has a iridescent uh, sparkle to it can you see that at all I can't tell if you can see it but it is really very pretty So yeah, you could cut that down there or you can make another belly band there and all kinds of stuff. Now this has kind of like a leafy thing, so it kind of reminds me uh, of fall in a little bit. And you could uh, use that with that other leafy trim, that'd be fun. Well, that was super fun and it went a lot faster than I thought. <laughs> all right guys, well that is my design team package from Crafty Me Shop on Facebook. And I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing. All these yummies. That was so fun. Thanks so much for stopping by. And I'll talk to you soon. Hopefully I'll have those journals done. And we'll I'll uh, do a flip through of those. Alright guys. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.